All right, so everybody write your name at the top. We're going to go through this uh, little note section first real quick. So it says uh, systems of equations. Uh, they are a set of two equations, right, two, two equations that contain the same variables. Anyone give me an example of a variable? Uh, like a variable on both sides? Okay, so like, what would that be? Like a, like a X, X is Y? Yeah. Alright, so number two says systems of equations is the work uh, together and deal with the same unknown values. A solution to a system of linear equations is an ordered pair that makes both equations true. All right, so somebody give me an example of ordered pair. Um, two, a comma, or whatever it is, and a two four. comma four. Yeah, that'd be, that's an example of an ordered pair. And uh, number four is systems of equations can have one or zero or infinite solutions. says uh, one way to solve a system of equations is by graphing. Okay. So step one um, is to graph the first equation. So when we say system of equations, how many um, how many equations are there? Two. Two. Okay. Step two is graph the second equation. All right. Step three is record the point where the lines intersect. And step four is check the point by substituting for x and y in each equation. So once we uh, find where the points intersect, it's good if we substitute our x and y in the equation to double check to make sure that we have the right answer. Now flip over to the next page. We're going to go through some questions. All right, so it says solve the systems by graphing. How many solutions are there? Okay, so the uh, first thing, what's the first step we're going to do? On the last, last sheet, it had, we had the notes. What was the first step? Graph. Graph what? Graph the first equation, okay? So we're, um, when we graph this first equation right here, what's the first step we're doing there? Your y-intercept. All right, so y-intercept at four. And then what's our slope? Negative one over one. All right. All right, and draw your line. And what's the second step? Record the points near the lines. What's your set? Uh, step two. What does step two say? Uh, graph the same. Graph the same. Oh. All 
right, so we're going to grab the second one. So when do we start? Uh, at one. At one. Okay. We start here. And then what's our slope? Two over one. Up two over one. So here. And once you find the right class, it's going to stop? Yes, but it's going to go ahead and draw all the way through like this so you can really see. So what you So what's our what's our uh, solution here? Two comma two. Alright, so you see, look how um, the scale, look at the scale of the So what point do they intersect at? At three. graph we go we have to do our x first so we go over one, That's one and then up three so our solution is one comma three all right and now we have to check our work by substituting so it looks like um, the first equation would be the easiest to substitute. So let's go ahead and substitute our, so this is our x, and this is our y. So let's substitute these in this equation. So that would look like 3 equals maybe like 1 plus 4. We have to bring down this negative from the equation. So you would be multiplying that. Sorry? All right, so look, so now we um, have to solve this. So what's negative one plus four? Three. Three? So would you agree that three equals three? Yes. yes. All right. So you know that uh, there's one solution there. Good. All right, we'll move down to the next one. So the first step is to graph the first equation. So how do we begin on graphing this one? With negative one. Negative one, good. So you put a point, negative one. And then up one, you see. And then, so you so see how it's down. negative? Oh. So we go down one, and then over two. Down one, over two. And then if we're going the opposite way, you go up one, and then left two. Like that. Okay. And then our next step mm -hmm. is to graph the second equation. So where do we begin our, our line the second equation. Uh, negative four. Negative four. Good. So put a point negative four for our y-intercepts. And then how do we graph our slope for the second one? Up one. Good. Up one. Over four. Up one. So what's our solution for this one, for our second? Negative four and four. So we, when we do that, um, when we're finding our, or is it four, so or is it we need the um, we need the ordered pair. So what's the ordered pair? Negative three and four. Okay, so how, how do we, how would we write this ordered pair? Four comma negative four. Is it negative four or negative three? Negative three. So um, negative, see. it would be, Maybe uh, three comma four. You have to write your x first. Your x, then your y. So when we check our work, do you want to do um, the first equation or the second equation? The second one? Okay. 
So we have to substitute our x and our y. So we substitute our negative 3 for our y. So it's negative 3 equals 1 fourth times 4 minus So when we do this, we have to, the first thing we need to do is our one fourth times our four. So one fourth times four is what? Do you have to kind of believe? Mm -hmm. Not to go past that. Right? You said peanut butter. No. Two over eight. That's right. Or two. No, close. So one fourth times four is one. And then minus 16. 4. So negative 3 equals 1 minus 4. What's 1 minus 4? You can tell me what 1 minus 4 is. 3 equals negative 3? Yes, that's one solution. Good. Alright, let's do another one. Okay, so what's our first step? Uh, graph y-intercept. Uh, Alright, graph the first one. So we start at 6. Now what's our slope? It's your positive 1 over 1. Okay. And where do we start for our second one? Uh, negative 2. Negative 2, good. So what do we notice about this graph? It's the parallel. Graph. So how many solutions will we have? Good. Be right. See that? See how they're parallel? And we can notice on uh, when we look at the equations, how they both have the same slope and different y-intercepts, you can go ahead and see if they're going to be parallel. Can y'all think of another name for zero solutions that we've used? Yeah. Yeah. No solutions. Yeah, no solutions. I think most often you'll see no solutions. They do mean the same thing, but just so y'all know to recognize that answer choice. to this one so what's our so you see how this this one is um, different than usual right all right so how do how can we change this to make it look like you have to solve the equation not necessarily so how do we make this look like um, slope intercept form how do we make this look like Y, uh, y intercept form. Uh, yeah. Subtract. Subtract what? X. Good. So you can move X over to this side. So then it looks like Y equals negative X plus 7. See that? Okay, now we can graph it. So what's the first step there? Plus 7 is changing. Go down negative one over one. Good. Okay, and then where do we 
we start with the second question? Uh, negative five. Then you go up one over one. So where do they intersect? Uh, over six comma six and one. Six comma uh, five, negative five. No, six and one. You see how they intersect here? Oh, okay, I see that. Okay, so you get six, six comma, one. comma one. And then let's substitute for this second equation. So. Our 6 is our x and our 1 is our y, so it would be 1 equals 6 minus 5. What's 6 minus 5? 1. 1. So 1 equals 1. Do you agree? Alright, I want y'all to try these two. I lost my brain cell. Someone's not here because I need 
to work. So what somebody was talking about, they were see how it's all messed up, all messed up with the white house. So what should we do with this? What is Two. Thank you. 
So now you got y by itself, so now you can graph it. So show us how you graphed it. I did. So since the positive is 4, you start with the positive 4. And then you go down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1. I was actually yeah. done with, but I didn't think it's not there. Yeah. And then your other one is... Um, If I didn't put the negative y over y, it would be just negative x plus 4, which is the same as this. Good. So, since these equations are the same, the lines are over on top of each other, which means that there's infinitely many solutions. Did y'all get that? Yeah. Yep. Just kidding. Sorry. I did. Ah, you want to call me the same one? Thank you, Riley. So the first equation is messed up on this one as well, so show us what you did to fix that equation. Okay. And then because y is technically already by itself, what could you do? No. Alright, so look, so since y is already by itself, you don't have to do minus x. You can just move this y to the front. So you can just write y equals 2x plus 2. So it's already in slope intercept form, it's just backwards. Alright, so 
Remember, when we, when we do y-intercept, we start on the y-intercept, so we grab two there first. This is a this is a positive slope, remember? So we're gonna go up this way instead. Good. And then the second equation. So here you would go, since it's negative slope, that means we need to go down this way. So you go down one and then over one this way. Yes, so down, go down one and then to the right one. So where do they intersect? On x is 0, mm -hmm. and y is 2. Good. So how do we check that? Which equation do you want to do? Probably the second one, right? It's easier.